Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here with the candles from the Keeping Room haul. My second order, awesome. I just made a really small order, so I'm gonna get on here and show you. Um, first of all, she sends you samples, beautiful. She asks you if you want them when you're ordering. You say, yes please. And she is so generous, so generous. There's never been another vendor that I know of that gives as many samples as she does. And it's like, it's crazy. But it's like, wow, it's, she, she doesn't have to do that. It's so sweet. Okay, this first one is Perfect Peach. And this cute little flip flops. This is a good peach. This one is like a fresh, juicy peach, like you've just bitten into one. Okay, next one is Blackberry Sage. I was thinking about buying this scent, but then I took it out of my cart. It's like in this cute little thing here. This one smells good. You smell the sage. And a little bit of that sweet blackberry. I wish I would have got it now. It's really good. Okay, let's see what we have next in the bag. Woodstock 69. And this little grubby heart. This smells like Nag Champa. It earthy, incensey. Definitely a hippie vibe. Definitely a hippie scent. I like those kind of smells. Then we have Country Charm. And this little pie. This one reminds me of like the craft store vibe. Like in the fall time. When they have their cinnamon sticks and all that kind of jazz out for fall and Halloween. It's definitely a good fall scent. Then this is Autumn Morn. Autumn Morn. It's in this cute little um, pie piece, or cake piece, I'm sorry. This is autumn too. Well, it's called autumn morn. It does. It smells kind of like leaves. It's almost like I can smell like baked apple in there or something like that too with all the spices. Then, breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm not sure what that is. And this cute little... I don't know. Cookie, I think it's supposed to be. This one's different. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it doesn't smell foody to me. I don't know. There's like a greenness to it. Hmm. I don't know. It's good. I just I just don't know how to describe it. Oops. Okay. Um, <clears throat> grilled peaches and pecans. I'm send this little peach. This one I'm not too fond of. Um I don't know if it's the grilled peaches. Or the pecans or just a combination of them both mm, my nose doesn't like that one no that one's just not for me but at least now I know so I won't get it okay this one is patchouli spice and it's really cute. You got a little Christmas tree, a little pine cone, and you got like a big, like, what is that, a boysenberry? 
I can't remember what they're called. The things that are bigger than raspberries and blackberries. I don't remember. My aunt used to have some of those bushes. So I can't remember what they're called. Dang it, huckleberry? I'm not sure. This one's good. You get that patchouli and the spice. It almost reminds me of like um, black pepper. The scent oil black pepper, which it doesn't smell like the pepper that you like put on your food. I like this one. Of course, I adore patchouli. So, not bad. There was only one that, you know, I didn't care for out of all those samples, which is cool. Now into my order. Where are we going to start? Where are we going to start? We're going to start over here. This first one I got is peach white cake. And she always has them wrapped up. You know, these beautiful ties wrapped around. Gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Look at the little peach. It almost looks like a little baby's butt. Looks like a baby butt. This is that good peach that was like in that sample, like a juicy peach. And I get a little bit of like white cake in there. That's good. I like it. Okay, my next one is green pumpkin. And these are double bag and cello bags, polypropylene cello bags. This is one of the pumpkins. And then you have the darker burgundy pumpkins in here. And one of my favorite shapes of hers, the corn. It is so real looking. This one is a really good scent too. I can't quite... I can't quite um, place the notes. I didn't write down the scent notes, of course. It does have like a green smell to it. <laughs> green. Ah, dang it, I don't know. It's good though. This next one is pink sugar orange juice. Pink sugar orange juice. And it's got these little milk jugs in there. Or mason jars, not a milk jug. This one's really good. I it smells like orange juice. I'm not really getting the pink sugar from it. It smells like a sweet orange juice. But I like it. Next one is Forbidden Fruit. See, I knew I should have wrote the ding scent notes down. And this one has got a bunch of different shapes in it. Very adorable. It's got the cookie shapes. This one, I believe, has different fruits. There's something sharp in here, though. Not quite sure what that is. There's like a sharp, tangy note in here. Hmm. It'll be interesting to melt that and see what it smells like to get a better sense of the smell. I mean, then I got pink sugar and sweet lemon. Yes, I was on an orange and lemon cake here lately. Oops. And this one is full of these grubby hearts, which are just adorable. Oh, and I found out, thanks to a couple people who commented on my last video, that her wax is pure paraffin, too. So, it might not smell as strong on cold. It will come out as it gets heated up, though. This one is so good. It is a sweet, sugary lemon. Yum. I like this. 
Okay, the last one. Yeah, this was just a very small one. Patchouli chocolate. But let me turn it so you can see it. And she's got suns in here and a flower and a little doodad. And a cute little butterfly. This one is so good. It's like even the patchouli and the chocolate. It smells like cocoa mix to me. But not a sweet cocoa mix. Probably because of the patchouli. It smells more like a dark chocolate mix. But you get that patchouli and it's so earthy and <sighs> I love it. It's just earthy. Like there's no sweetness to it. To my nose, there's no sweetness to it. Dark, earthy, dark chocolate. It gives it a little bit of sexiness. Oh, I just, mmm. Yeah. Okay. So, that is it. That is it. Um, I cannot believe that it is almost the middle of, yeah, it's almost the middle of July already. Time goes by so fast. So, still in the process of teaching my daughter to drive, which is like, <sighs> part of me is like, hey, the other part of me is like, mm. no. Um, stressful. It's stressful. Um, her dad helped her a little bit when he was home, and my sister in law is helping because I am, a, I have a lot of anxiety. And I get panic attacks really easy, so I'm just like, ugh, my stress level stays up here all the time. So, um, yeah, I need a little bit of help with that because if I'm not in control of the car, like, I'm wanting to put my foot through the floor, you know, finding that imaginary break. So, I even do that when my husband drives sometimes. I mean, I totally trust his driving, but it's just when you're used to driving most of the time by yourself, having someone else drive, it's kind of like, ugh, you know. So anyway, hey BB, there's Miss Gracie May. It's gotta be at my feet. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope y'all have a great, what? What? Are you talking to me? Oop, I didn't mean to scare you, baby. It's okay. Got a piece of paper on the floor and she's like, what is that? You're so nosy. Why are you being so jumpy? Oh my gosh. She's a jumpy one. I know I show her a lot, but I'm gonna show her again because, oh, and she is so, she is nothing but pure muscle. She's not fat, she is muscle. This cat, when she jumps on the couch, shakes everything in the living room. She just, she doesn't look that big, but she is thick, y'all. She's thick, aren't you? Are you a thick baby? Mm -hmm. You got the same color eyes as I do, but she's a little bit greener. Pretty, pretty. Okay, I'll put you down. Okay, anyway. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all have a great and wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.